Assalamu alaikum. Today in this assignment, I am going to run Cache Simulator on Windows with three different Cache Gaming configurations, which will include Direct Mapped, NVSet Associative, and Fully Associative. So the simulator is a processor cache for the MIPS instruction set architecture. I have installed the simulator on my system with the command pip install cache simulator. And as you can see that it is installed now. To run the configuration, we will discuss the command. I will explain the command a little bit. First, we will write cache simulator. The first option, the first parameter of this command is cache size. So basically the cache size which I will be using is replicated using this formula. Last two digits of my roll number plus 10 and whole multiplied by 12. And the size which I have got is 972 for my cache. The second argument is number of block per set. It depends on the configuration which I will use. For example, if I will use the configuration for direct mapped, then this the number of block per set which is set as default for this simulator is one. If I use a fully associative configuration, then the number of block per set will be calculated through a formula and the formula is cache size divided by number of words per block. And in my case, I have set the number of word per block as four. The third thing is number of words per block. And in my assignment, I have set it four for all three configurations. The next parameter is number address bits. And I have set it to 10. The last argument is word address. For this assignment, I will give 10 different addresses for each to, so, to see number of hits miss as an output. So let's start the assignment and I will copy this command and paste it on the Anaconda prompt. And here you can see the output. This is actually the number of the numbers, the different number which I have used 96, 97, 98, 99. And you can see the four number because I have set the number of word block as four. There you can see the word addresses which I have given, it's binary, and the binary address is then uh, divided into tag, index, and offset. The number of hit and miss, in this case, you can see all hits. This is because I have chose the numbers which belongs to one block. The first miss is the default miss because the cache will be empty then i chose the number 96 97 98 99 they all were in single block again when i choose number 99 98 97 96 they all are repeating from the first block that's why you can see all the hits here now if i change the address and let me copy the second command, which will show no hits, which means all cache, a cache will miss all the addresses. If I copy this command here. I will first show the numbers which I have used as addresses, 96, 100, 104, 108. So you can notice that the gap between all these numbers are of four. And the number of word per block which I have set is also four, which mean that the in cache, when it will get this block, 96 block, it will get four numbers, 96, 97, 98, 99. 
so if i choose some number from this block it will definitely hit but i have choose the number which is outside from this block which is 100 by the gap of 4 so now obviously cache will again miss and if i choose this block of 100 101 102 103 then it will hit but the third number which i have chose <clears throat> sorry so the third number which i have chose is 104 which is again come from the next block so that's why we can see that the cache misses all the word addresses Now the third case is 50% hits. I'm trying to copy the command here. I think it is not copied. In this command, the address scheme I have used is 9697. Then the gap, so we can go, we can jump into the next block, which is 100. And I have chose the next number from same block. 100 and 101 are from same block, so 100 will be missed, but 101 will be hit. The number which i have chose 104105 again belong to another block so 104 will be a miss and 105 will be a hit in this way i have chosen all the 10 addresses which will show 50 percent hits and 50 percent miss and these all are from direct map scheme now here you can see the first one will definitely a miss but the second number which i have word address which i have chose is 97 97 belong to the same block from which 96 belongs so that's why 97 is a hit then 100 will be a miss and 101 will be a hit here we can see the blocks these four numbers belong to first block from 100 to 103 it belongs to the second block so this was all about direct map scheming now if we move to fully associated here the number of block per set is calculated using this formula so number of block per set which i have calculated is 243 I will copy the command for all hits. The rest of the parameter have same values except number of block per set. Here you can see uh, one difference that the index is not applicable. This is because we are using fully associative configuration and in, in this configuration uh, address is just divided into the tag and offset bits. Now because the addressing scheme was same it is all hits 96, 97, 98, 99 they all belong to the single block and then I have repeated these numbers that's why we can see all the hits here. For no hit, I have chosen all those numbers, all those word addresses, which belongs to different blocks. So whenever Cache want to get those word addresses, it will not found it in Cache, and that's why they all will be missed. third simulation is of 50% hits. For 50% hits, we will choose two numbers belonging from same block and then next two number belonging from another same block. But both of these blocks are different. 
So that's where we can see 50% hit rate. And now moving to two-way set associative. This is basically n-way set associative. If I choose two-way, then the number of block per set will be set selected as two in this simulator. This is the only change which you will notice here. Ashes size is 972, which was calculated beforehand using the formula. In this simulation, again, you can see that tag index offset, all the bits are set. And it has 100% hit rate. The next configuration is no hit. Addressing scheme is same. We can change the addresses, word addresses, and keep the same miss rate if we understand how to do that. So if I chose uh, the number here like one, uh, sorry, zero, then four, then eight, then 12, then again, we can see all the misses because the word per block is set as four, if I set the word block, word per block as five, then five consecutive number will belong to the one block set. So if I choose different number which don't belong to the same block set, then we can see all the misses. And the last one is 50% hit rate. Let me copy this here. Here you can again see the 50% miss and 50% hit rate. So that's all from this assignment. There are some more arguments which are optional and it is mentioned in this GitHub Cache Simulator. Here it tells the installing command. Then the there are two required parameters to run these commands. The first one is cache size and the second one is word addresses. All the parameters which I have used other than these two are optional. Number of block per set, it is default. If, I, if we don't select this parameter, then by default, it will select one, which is the direct mapped cache. Another optional parameter is number of words per block, which in my case, I have set as four. And number address bits can also be changed. I have selected it as 10, it can be changed. And the replacement policy, default replace, replacement pol policy here is LRU. And we can change it to most recent used as well. So that's all from my side for this assignment. Thank you.